Uh, if the match ever starts. Oh, whew. There it is. FD. No platforms. That's fascinating shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I can't really speak too much on this on this matchup. Both of these characters like to hit buttons, uh, but I kind of feel like, in the general like interaction, Terry's buttons might be a little bit more oppressive uh, until he's like put off stage. Well, I mean, he might elect to do it himself, but I don't know if that's exactly advisable. One, two. <laughs> All right. You pick the first stock. Yeah. Ooh. He's in go mode. It's time to get out of here. All right, good damage. It's really good. Yeah, teapot. Yeah, working. this can be a struggle. Pardon? Yeah, teapot's working on a pretty gosh darn uh, large lead here. Yeah, I feel like this is where it gets difficult for Yoshi because a lot of Yoshi players kind of depend on the double jump armor. And when Terry has go, he kind of just doesn't care. Um, it'd be really stressful. Oh, wow. Isn't that like plus four on Terry, I think? It's insane. I missed it. Oh, uh, the, the power dunk. Yeah, RJ is just struggling to get this kill. At this point, I would just imagine doing, I don't know, like Rising Air or something like that. But it's frame three, it should work. Like at this percent, typically Yoshis would either throw out one of their multi hits, typically back air, um, or they kind of just retreat. Okay, that was a good rising up there. Good rising up there. Alright, yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, tried to get that spike stuff the jump before the crack shoot came out, but came out too quickly. Given the position. I keep forgetting. Yeah, sorry. I keep forgetting Terry has that, like, spot dodge canceling where just spot dodge cancel jab. Mm -hmm. It's too useful and underrated tool. So let's see. So he kind of kind of baited him, I guess, with the crack shoot, and then was able to put himself in a position to still land the kill, uh, and just finish out the game with the two stock. But yeah, it's just at the very beginning, just like Teapot was just working on a, a pretty pretty large lead, you know, uh, had was able to take the first two stocks before losing his his own. Boom. Yeah, Go can really uh, keep the snowball uh, fallen. You know, RJ was able to pick one of those stocks and was trying to work on a comeback, but didn't work out too well. That crack shoot was like a weird bait, but play. It worked out. Yeah. So let's see, where are we going next?
All right. Yo, this loading screen is really spooky. There we go. Alright, so RJ electing to counterpick to PS2. Uh, I can kind of understand PS2's massive stage, largest legal stage we have, and you just want to be able to create as much space as you can just to try and like reset. Like if you get stuck in like anything nonsense that Terry starts put you in, then it's kind of good to try and get that reset. Thank you, Victoria. Enough for this follow. Anyway, uh, yeah, so right now, you know, RJ playing, trying to slow things down, take things at his pace, or just make it a uh, teapot flustered, uncomfortable, just something that can really show. Ooh. But teapot already trying to work on getting these kills. Ooh, oh no, he power dunked right through the egg and then into Yoshi's noggin. Okay. When the egg pokes, it's a little something. Oh. Ooh, okay. Ah, ah. Alright, Teapot try looking to really extend this lead again, similar to game uh, one, but this time RJ is definitely in a little bit of a better situation, but Go can quickly turn that around. RJ is trying to look for this kill, but it's still taking things pretty slow. Uh, honestly, pretty understandable. Just like go for the one hit, see if it works. If not, just restart and uh, try again. And after many tries, is able to get the kill. Um, now evening up the pers uh, the stock, so in a better position than last time. Okay. Ooh. RJ was saying like, hey, if you want to fight me, come over here. You want to kill me? Do it. I'm at the ledge. Okay. I don't know. Maybe because of lag or something? I'm not sure. I'm not... Uh, as per the lag detector, I see eight drops from Teapot. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, a little bit of a spike there. As I said, 8, it jumped to 15. Maybe. I'll check the Discord, I guess. It's quite nice. No, oh, welcome back. Cool. Yeah, pardon me. I was just talking to my uh, mom at the airport. Yeah. Who's at the airport? All right, so let, what's going on over there? I guess I can check. In the Smashy G thing. I always forget that I have that power. Huh. Are you not the owner of the Discord? Huh? Uh, no, I think Helper is. Uh. What are we currently looking at? We have the rankings.
All right, just trying to figure out what's going on uh, with the room right now. Um, yeah, RJ wanted to request a lag check, and then Teapot was fine with it, but then he DC'd, okay. and I'm like, is he coming back? I'm gonna the mute verdict. myself. I'm gonna mute myself for a moment so we can just try and figure out what's going on. So be right back. Okay, and we're back. So I think Dill is trying to work out. Well, not Dill. I think Teapot. They're trying to work out what they're going to do for the next game um, because he did technically lag out of the previous one. Uh, it is. The, the point for the game two can just be straight up awarded to RJ, so we might end up just going straight into game three, but we gotta see what the players want to do. But yeah, now the teapot is back in the room. Okay, yeah, we're just going to be moving on to game three. RJ has been awarded a, a point, so we're just going to be going on from there. Or not, what they're based on what they're saying on the in the chat. I may have come back oh. from this break a little bit too soon, because this is just silly. We are starting game three. Confirmed. Oh boy. So that means we're going to be going back to, I guess, counter pick advantage for, uh, for Teapot. So we'll see how that works out. And into it. Game three. Let's see what stage we're going to. 
Maybe Radiant. we'll see. Maybe we'll see FD again. Not sure. Mm -mm. Yep. Okay, so now, yeah. All right, so once again, we already see RJ kind of taking it a little bit slow. Ooh, now we're kind of seeing a not a big deal, but a single drop from RJ's side this time around. Anyway, uh, but yeah, RJ's definitely much taking it a lot slower, taking taking advantage of the fact uh, that Yoshi just has like really extreme mobility, which is a really good thing. Like, play to your strengths and just go in and, uh, like, go for the small hits and just see what happens. Just dip your toes in the water. And we're already seeing, like, really even, much more even percentages. I would still argue that uh, Teapot is a little bit in it, kind of winning, because I think it's easier for him to, like, land a, a situation that will net him a kill. But if he's off stage, this could be good for RJ. Not just yet. Oh. I will say this. There's that one benefit for Yoshi in the sense that a lot of the F tilts or up tilts, whatever Yoshi uses mm -hmm. to combo. Um, <laughs> it's F tilt. It looks like up tilt, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't even know what it is, man. Yeah, uh, I got you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so a lot of time people will try to land on the platforms because they can't really handle being in that state of disadvantage mm -hmm. but since we're on fd you don't really have that option and so a lot of those uh tilts that yoshi's gonna match are gonna lead up into up airs and you can't really retreat um all you can really do is air dodge if you have a jump you can jump um but over disadvantage state gets a lot worse for the opponent all you right. see that right here? Yeah. That down. The jab down B gonna net RJ the first kill, uh, and it's doing pretty good up until right then and there, where Teapot's able to even up the stocks. Yeah, that was a nice kill, and you, you are correct in saying that it can be easy for Terry to get a kill here because where can Yoshi really go, right? Like all he can really do is just jump around. Yeah. You know, as soon as he lands, it's like, okay, well now Terry, who might potentially have go, is gonna go in, get his damage and get his kill. And so it can be very devastating. Yeah, you, you just gotta keep doing a drive-by damage, man. Like if you miss, sell la vie, you'll try again, whatever. But just don't overextend and just use the fact that you're just really Really mobile and annoying. Oh, that that's good. That could be it. That is it, yeah. Oh. That's a big lead now for RJ. That's a really nice edge guard. Is that a two frame or was it just twinkle toes? I I don't I think he I think he just hit him. I don't think it was a two frame, because he was still rising. Uh. Alright, getting some slight uh, drops from Teapot. From during that dash attack. <laughs> Made it feel extra impactful. Woo! Almost dying off oh. the top. The Yoshi, a uh, heavy boy. Alright, jab to grab. And get the uh, shield option quite fast enough. Okay. Oh man. Alright. RJ taking it real slow. I like it. Just keeping, just racking up a little bit of damage. I'd, I'd say if he's able to rack up a little bit more, maybe get him to. Mm. Alright, got him to triple digits. But, you know, now he has go, which can be scary. If he can take this stock without losing his own. I mean, he'll win, so that'll be the best position to be in. And it is! Tail whip? Nope, not gonna be enough. Oh. Alright. Goes off stage, didn't quite get it. Oh! Alright. Very dangerous state, because that double jump armor doesn't really do well versus that power grab. Oh! oh. Like, gonna break the oh. shield, and that's gonna be it. RJ advances. 2 1. 
Man, that was scary. Because, like, when you come back and, like, yeah, he's at high percent, but he has go, you're just like, uh-oh. Yeah, so his shield was already low, and so he went for the down smash to make sure it cover all of his bases, and that was all she wrote. All right, good stuff. Yeah, so, you know, like we said, uh, you know, kind of in contrast to what happened game one, this time RJ was able to take uh, the, the first stock, which helped put him in a much more solid position because they had Terry trying to play catch up. And honestly, like, even if it does go even, it can be pretty, like, all right, so this is poof. You kind of cut out, what'd you say? Uh, twinkle toes. Yeah. Did he? I don't think he two framed, but. Okay, no, he just straight up hit him. Yeah, okay. Oh, and then. Where? Very upbeat, and it just puts him in a bad positioning. Yeah. And that Buster Wolf, you know. I don't think the. Um, Jump armor from Yoshi cares. Uh, I think it can't handle like a grab box, understandably so. So he was able to kill him with that, and then he was able to seal it out.